Good morning. Nice to see you start the day off right, exercising your brain and your fingers. How many people do we have playing? Groovy. Player one, talk to me. What's your name? Good enough. Player two, you're up. 45 seconds. Okay then. Player three, it's up to you now. Okie dokie, have a look around and choose an episode. Okay, player one, your buzzer is the letter Q, as in quantum physics. Player two, your buzzer is B, as in burping a baby. And player three, how about you buzz in on the letter P? P like a peck of pickled peppers. 20 seconds. So, looky here, this is how it works. The first one of you to buzz in on a question gets first stab at the answer. So, you buzz in, then you press one, two, three, or four, depending on which answer you want. Read me. Okay, have fun. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Yep, that's right. It's our jazz episode. Huh? You like that? So, for all of you who are feeling horny, go and grab your instrument and give it a good blow. All right, then. First order of business, screws. <laughs> Uh, not to offend you, but this is how you screw someone. If you want to force your neighbor into answering a question that you know they don't know, buzz in and slap that S key. You got it? Now, let's see if you've been paying attention. Talk to me, player three. Whoa. For your viewing pleasure, Mommy, can we live in a bar? You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. You know, it seems pretty sad to me how little the kids know about the jazz music these days. Something ought to be done about that, no? Suppose you decide to develop a new children's show about jazz. If it stars Jelly Roll Morton, Louis Armstrong, Louis Prima, and some lovable puppet prostitutes, what should it be called? Storyville, Electric Avenue, Youngstown, or Alphabet City? Player three, who would you like to screw? <laughs> Player two, you're getting screwed. Let's give something back. Storyville is a district in New Orleans where jazz stars like Louis Armstrong, Louis Prima, and Jelly Roll Morton got started, and where prostitution was legal. Here's another story, kids. One night this fella's playing the piano when a very special lady comes in. You already told us that one. Oh, I'm sorry. One night this fella's playing the trumpet and a very special lady walks in. Hey, player three, when you can't successfully screw someone else, you screw yourself. Your call, player two. Open wide and get ready for if you win every game, why hurry? 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Imagine the Harlem Globetrotters Curly Neal is running late to a home game. According to a Duke Ellington Jazz standard, what's the quickest way for him to get to Harlem by tip-off? Take a taxi, take the midnight train, take the A train, or take the crosstown bus. Player three, have at it. According to the song, take the A train. If you missed the A train, you've missed the quickest way to Harlem. The song goes on to say, if you're on the A train, don't run around with a bucket of confetti pretending that it's water. How about it, player three category? Today's specialties include, when I dress up as Al Gore, people think I'm the waiter. How does $2,000 sound? Ready? Catch this. 
It's Halloween, and a little kid impersonating jazz musician Billy Tipton shows up at your door. To whom will you be passing out fun-sized Snickers? A kid posing as a fugitive posing as a pianist? A kid posing as a person posing as a drum set? A kid posing as an alien posing as a citizen? Or a kid posing as a woman posing as a man? Player one, do it! After jazz great Billy Tipton died, it was discovered he was a woman who was pretending to be a man. And no one was more surprised than Billy's proctologist. Player one, tell me what's next. Let's take a look at when Alestra was a girl at the sock hop. $3,000 for this one. All right, give me your best shot. According to the domino theory, which of the following would be true of Fats Domino? If Fats takes drugs, the whole band will. If Fats gets sick, the whole band will. If Fats turns communist, the whole band will. Or if Fats pays taxes, the whole band will. Take a shot, player two. The domino theory says that if a country becomes communist, nearby countries will soon follow. Turns out that thrill Fats found on Blueberry Hill went by the name of Karl Marx. Player two, take your pick. Hey, bless Smut with Dime Store. It's time for a Lip for Dish Mess Fun. Let's see if you can make some sense out of this gibberish category. Don't give me none of that half-assed loving. What do you say to 5,000 bucks to start this gibberish question off? Now check this out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. All right, jazzsters, take a look at some of this scat and tell me what it rhymes with. Thrill me all the way. There you go, player three. Type in that answer and hit return. Yeah, I remember all those Billy holidays growing up when the family would gather around the tree and open gifts. Or was that Christmas? I should really call my mom. Player three, why don't you pick one? We're calling this one, give me a Z, a high bouncy Z. Get this one right, you get a grand. Pencils ready, let's do it. Considering which letters are used for musical notes in Western music, which record label's name could you spell using only musical notes? CBS, Verve, Blue Note, or Decca? Player two, go! The musical scale is represented with the letters A through G, so Decca is the only one you can spell here. And do you know what the only two rock bands you can spell with musical notes are? ABBA and ACDC. Ironic, isn't it? Player two, what looks good? Let's see what we got going. Jazz will come and go, but Jerry Curl is forever. 1,000 bucks if you get it. You know, I'm not a jazz musician, but I play one on a computer game. And when you're on tour, the most important thing for a drummer is personal appearance. Looking fresh is the first part of playing well. What would you most likely expect any jazz drummer to bring along on a concert tour? Combs, brushes, rollers, or picks? We'll chalk this one up to experience. Player two, player three, the time is now. Player Jazz drummers often use brushes to play. And I'm talking about long wire things that you would not want to run through your hair. So tell me, stupid drummer with the bleeding scalp, Johnson, how did you ever get a nickname like that? Hey, player two, right back at you with that screw action. What do you want to do, player three? For your enjoyment, that darn scat. 4K coming your way for a right answer. All righty, listen up, because I swear to you, I'm only going to do this once. You ready? Shoobity wop, he plays a New York cop. Shuba wabba zoo flash with a little mustache. To wabba side Rabinowitz, he plays a guy named Sibowitz. Wabba wee 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 wee. NYPD blue, 
yeah. There, you happy? Who was I just scatting about? Is it Jimmy Smith, David Kelly, David Caruso, or Dennis Franz? <laughs> Player one, he's getting screwed. <laughs> Player three, you gotta take that. Give me an answer. Jimmy Smith? If I were scatting about Jimmy Smith, it'd sound like this. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Smith, 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 Jimmy Smith. Okay? <laughs> Doobity wap bap boo! Wow, you're really bad at this game. I was scatting about Dennis Franz. You ought to hear me scat when they show more of Dennis than I'm used to, if you know what I mean. Shoobity wow 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 whoa! Come on, boy! Hey! I need to see that. Put that back. Player one, what are we doing? Coming at you. Charlie Parker laid an egg. Ew. If you know this one, you're getting 4,000 bucks. All right, check out this analogy for me. Dizzy Gillespie is to cheeks as frigate bird is to beak, trumpet, feathers, or throat. Um, no. <laughs> Just like Dizzy Gillespie inflated his cheeks while playing his trumpet, the frigate bird puffs out its throat as a mating technique. <laughs> and using these methods, both the frigate bird and Dizzy managed to pick up chicks. Category time, player two. Hey, player one and player three, why don't you go set your VCRs or something while player two stacks up the chips on this this or that. The category for this dissert act question is just another corporate trumpet player. Now, I'm gonna read off seven titles, and for each one, I'd like you to tell me if it's the title of a Miles Davis album or a frequent flyer airline deal. As each comes up, if it's the title of an album, press one. If it's an airline deal, press two. And if you wanna skip one, press four. I'll give you $1,000 for a right answer, and I'll take away 1,000 for every wrong answer or for those that you didn't get to. All right, I'm gonna start you off with 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Miles Smiles, jazz album. First Miles. Sky Miles. We want Miles. Miles in the sky. Dividend Miles. Miles and more. We're gonna pick up that one you passed on. Miles Smiles. Ain't got no more. All right, so you picked up five. It's not the best you could do, but let's take a look at this. All right, now how do you feel about a new question? Player one, why don't you give me a category? La la la, la la la, here's a question for you. This category is known as Light Bites. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Let's see how you handle this one. Suppose Kenny G buys his own radio station. Considering federal rules on radio station names, in which of the following states could he found KENG FM? Ohio, Oklahoma, Connecticut, or Alabama? Play three, do it! According to the Federal Communications Commission, only radio stations west of the Mississippi should use K as their first letter. And now, all Kenny G, all the time. Run for the East! Run East! Player three, your category. May I introduce, Jack Wagner says it's gonna be hot tonight. You get this one, you pocket 2,000 bucks. Get the wax out of your ears, it's question time. If the weather forecast calls for the velvet fog, what would you most likely hear the weatherman say? Mel Torme conditions reduce visibility. Sarah Vaughn, may delay flights. Count Basie, may cause hazardous driving. Or Duke Ellington, raises the humidity to 80%. Mel Torme is known as the velvet fog. Oh man, I used to love it on Night Court when Dan Fielding would <laughs> make fun of Mel Torme. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> so Harry, how's that velvet frog these days? <laughs> velvet frog. <laughs> Can you imagine? He'd be all croaky when he sang. <laughs> 
There is nothing funnier than a frog singing jazz. <laughs> I mean, look at the WB. <laughs> oh. Player one, your choice. Shake hands with, I give critics a big thumbs down. 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. All right, people, this is a fill in the blank. So when you know the answer, just buzz in and type. Until then, check out this jazz review. A great five for the 90s. Stockton and Malone have been the core for years, and their fans relish the biplane timing as they play together. What group is being reviewed, you hep cat? All you had to do was type this. Ah! I'm talking about a basketball team. I'm talking about a basketball team from a nowhere state. I'm talking about a basketball team from a nowhere state that have had some moments of glory. Give it up for the Utah Jazz. Stockton dishes it off to Malone. Will the mailman be able to hit the rim shot? <laughs> yes! Player one, give me a category. And our special guest tonight, it's like one of the dwarves with a stuttering problem. I got $2,000, says you don't know this one. All right, baby, help me finish up this Cab Calloway song. How about it? Hi, blank, 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 ho. Is it bee bop baloo bop womp bam boom shama lama rama ring a ding dong she bop he bop we bop they bop hoody 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 hi hoody 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 Damn, that was tough. Cab Calloway's Minnie the Moocher line that everybody loves to sing along to. Heidi, 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 hi, hoody, 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 ho. <laughs> you know, that whole thing came about as an accident, really. Cab was on stage one night, and he was trying to say hi to his friend, de Heidi, Heidi, hi, hoody, 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 ho. And then, of course, he called out to his other buddy, scootily boo, scootily boo, scootily boodily boodily bob. See? You've almost made it to the credits, but first, the attack. When you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, you get 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're losing 2,000. Oh, and one more thing to remember. Remember the clue. The two words that match have to fit this clue. Rhymes with jazz. Oh, you will never guess what this one's about. Thi oh, wait. say you don't know jack want to hear bad luck i lost my job dog got run over oh joy oh rapture thrills happy day what a precious moment this is with all of you on the high scoreboard did i mention i'm impressed oh well a little yeah actually tell me if you want to play again 
Make this one a favorite episode by pressing F. It only got worse after that. I, I contracted malaria, I got struck by lightning, slept with my dad. How hard is it to make 10 copies to send to 10 friends? That's what, $3.30 in stamps? Look, bad luck happens. This is no joke. Don't break the chain. Don't break the chain. Don't break the chain. Don't break the chain. Brought to you by the United States Postal Service. With the hustle and bustle of modern life, who has time to plan their own suicide these days? Between dropping the kids off at school, going to work, and taking care of the house, I just couldn't find time to think about suicide. Then I called the American Council for Assisted Suicide. This message brought to you by the American Council for Assisted Suicide. Relax. We'll write the note for you. You might think you've got insurance, but are you really protected? People looked at me a little funny when we got the asteroid coverage, but Allegiance showed us the graphs. We saw the numbers. Asteroids kill. Here at Allegiance Insurance, we make sure you're prepared for the unexpected. Will we ever be invaded by Canadian terrorists? My Allegiance agent told me point blank, yes. I was a little skeptical at first, but then I thought, you know, sure, I could defend myself against a robot attack. But what about my wife, my kids? My dog. So visit your nearest Allegiance agent. Sure, everyone's got home and auto, but what about offshore mining accidents, leprosy, warlock spells? Are you insured? I never actually participated in a rodeo, but that doesn't mean I can't get hurt. Are you one of those sick puppies who's entertained by things from the simply strange to the perversely disturbing? I like to pull the legs off mice. Were you ostracized as a child because everyone thought you were a weirdo? The other girls wouldn't play with me because I used to make out with their pets. Has anyone ever used your name in the same sentence as Jack the Ripper or Charles Manson? I memorized every detail of Typhoid Mary's life. Does that count? Well, wouldn't it be nice to have someone to share your interest with? Huh, I'll say. Then write this number down and get ready to meet the other freaks of the world. It's 1-800- And it's the chat line for you. One simple phone call, and you'll be networking with every other loon in the country and sharing your interests, whatever the hell they are. You mean you'll hook me up with other people who like to drink bottles of ink? We'd sure like to. I like to fill my bathtub with garbage and lay in it. And we're sure there are others out there who feel the same way. So call us today, 1-800- Sherman Books is proud to announce the first in its Inmates on Tape series, featuring Charles Manson. Just listen to Charles' heartfelt rendering of A Tale of Two Cities. <laughs> It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, man. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. <laughs> foolishness? I ain't your fool. I can see inside of you, man. But Enjoy you the unique spirit that Charles brings to Herman Melville's classic darkness. Moby Dick. Ishmael, who the hell are you? Okay, I'm calling you Ishmael. Call Why now and receive, at no additional cost, Manson are. reads the poetry of Robert you. Frost. I am the walrus, man. Fee, fi, fo, fum. You can't stop So call truth. today and enjoy I hours of classic no literature on tape. Tony Danza. At the American Produce Corporation, we respect how our forefathers farmed the earth by hand. And how the earth will be farmed in the future using advanced microchip technology. That's why we keep it simple. A single large supercomputer handles all farm duties. The American Produce Corporation. Family owned and operated until 1982. Then bought out by a billion dollar corporation. Artificial, Artificial intelligence will feed the world fruits and vegetables for the future. Okie dokie.